today um, were in the TAS program last year. They were selected by their teachers as being outstanding TAS, and then were then um, interned in our summer program. And so they finished the summer, and then obviously loved it so much, they came back as chemistry TAS this semester. So I'm going to ask them to come forward. I know that they don't want to, but I'm going to ask them to. So Fatimata Kamara and Brian Ortiz, come on up. Now, I'm going to ask them if they would rather talk to you or show their videos. So, you want to go talking, okay. Um, <laughs> go video. Okay, so as part of the project, we have a um, video diary where the students take a camera home and do a day in their life. They're really remarkable diaries. These two have the best video diaries. So Fatu has said to show the diary, so I'll do that. And show the diary. So what grade are you in, both of you? We both are juniors. Both are juniors. Okay, so one more year after after your junior year. Um, have, have both of you decided where you'd like to go for college and what, what you'd like to do? I haven't decided where, but I'm still going to keep looking. Because I, I picked Hunter College, and I was going to major in, well, I'm going to do pre They have a right answer. Yeah. Hunter College. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to major in, um, either biochemistry or just biology, because I'm going to be an OBGYN. Mm -hmm. um, I, I still don't know what college I want to go to, still looking, and I want to major in biology. I don't have anything specific to But I'll be minoring in science. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you tutor in chemistry, and yet you choose biology? <laughs> it's natural. I used to be a little bit environment tutor, and once I thought, like, she always used to do the math, I was used to do the science, and I just fell in love with living environment and the science after that. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter whether I major in biology or not. Chemistry is still going to be there. It's going to follow me. It does. Both of you in senior year, do you still want to be tested? I, cause I got the, my own. Um, you have room on your program. Assuming you have room on your program. Yeah. You to do it. The best, because they changed the rules for our senior year. So if I have like a short schedule, then I'll probably have to tutor in math again. But if they give me AP classes, then I won't be able to tutor. Same thing here. It depends on how small the schedule is. If, it, if there's enough room on it, I'll try to put two room on it. So you can get It's a very really nice experience. So your preference is, if given a choice, would be to do yes. tutoring again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was day one of your uh, the first day of school? Did you start as your as being a class then, like on the first day of school in fall? Yes. We, not, well, not us. Well, for me, I didn't do it because I started 
the first day that I told, but the thing is, you know, it's okay. It's the first day of school, like, to stop the leave. So we kind of started, like, the second to the third day. But the work actually started, like, the week after. Like, they started getting on the second side of the day. It's a time. What are your friends who are not tasking about what you do? So everybody has you on speed dial. <laughs> Most likely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just For it's like the same the same response as her. Um, once one of your friends finds out you tutor a certain subject and they're not that good in the subject, they, the, first, the first thing on their mind is to find you. you know, what are friends for? Exactly. Speak that. It's still the same thing. Even though I call the nerd. But I call myself the nerd. I am. But is that like the nerd making fun of you? Or oh, nerd? like, <laughs> like, like oh, nerds. Nerds. a nerd. A nerd as in we know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah I'm like the top nerd. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's, were the two of you students in prep classes before you were TAS, or were you a TAS without having been? I was in? never in prep class. I was never in prep class before. So, so this is a, a challenge when, when we start in a new school. The, the very first cohort of TAS haven't been in a prep class. So, so Brian and Fontamonta were pioneers at their school. I, I, I was always ahead in my classes. So it's like when they gave me tutoring, I was like, um, what? Who, 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 who am I tutoring? And so I thought I was tutoring little kids. So I see freshmen and I'm like, okay. So, so in, the sec in the second year and then thereafter, once students have been in her classes, starting in about October, they start asking if they can be a TAS the following year because they have these excellent role models. And so the, and then, had, had the two of you helped in recruiting for TAS? Yeah, last year I went around recruiting and, because so, last year I went around recruiting and some of the kids that I was tutoring, they signed up, but they also went to the Hunter College summer school. So like, with them, with that help, they passed the reason. And it was earlier this year they told me that they were also tired. So you have to go somewhere to feel happy. You're like, ah, look what I did. <laughs> 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 so you guys see a big difference in the kids that you guys teach? I think when you're group is Do you see them more motivated? Or do you think they go back into being lazy about it? Or well, I, I see one of them. Like, I have class with one of the ones that I tutor. And then there's one that I always see him. And he's like, he doesn't move. But now you see, like, he's actually motivated. Like, he actually does his work. He helps the kids. And one of them that I have a class with, he doesn't tutor, but he still asks me to tutor him in geometry. You no, know, I did not tutor him in geometry. <laughs> <laughs> they pay more attention to you because once you walk into a room and then it's just a teacher up on the board just talking, your first thing to do is put your head down and go to sleep. But if you're in a group with four other people and you have a tutor to yourself, he's right in front of you. First of all, you can't fall asleep in front of him. And second of all, you can relate to him. And it's like just talking to another friend of yours, except this one is teaching you something. But I, I've seen it like, over the course that I've been tutoring, I've seen the, the higher school like some of the kids, these are some of like most of them was just kids that they come into school and every time they feel like it. But I think like, cause they have the task program now and like they actually, I hope that they're gonna pass. Most of them just actually come to class prepared and they actually do their work. So it's such a beautiful study. Still gonna do their work. <laughs> so nice. so if a student comes up to you and asks you, I hate math, what, what are you gonna say to the student? Honestly, I would tell that yeah, I feel the same way. But let's say you're going to the two different so this is like, you know? Because I'm a peer leader here and, and I peer lead for my fault and five. It's like algebra and trigonometry. And one of the major challenges that I had were how do I make them understand that math is not that difficult? Because I most of the students will think, oh my god, math is not useful, I hate math. And then, you know, I had a hard time like, you know, motivating them. Oh, math is not that bad, you know. Try to encourage them to, you know, 
very yeah. bad. I have similar problems like that with chemistry. Because most of their copy, what am I going to do with chemistry in my life? When I go out, I'm not going to need to mix chemicals to build the building. <laughs> okay, but you see, like, like, most of them, they don't get it. Like, when they just see a big paragraph, they're like, oh, I don't want to read it. I'm like, it's hard. But it's like, when you actually sit down with them and you explain to them, like, because you read it, it doesn't matter that it's hard. Like, most of the answers are there. So it's like, one of my friends, I actually told one of my friends, and she's like, she gives a thought. But like over the course, she has to get the time to sit down and read it. Now she has to get what she's reading. I have motivated I have my methods of motivating. Just take it now. Right, I want to ask that we thank all the presenters, uh, the students, the teachers, my, my colleagues, and then I think we'll answer any questions in general that you might have. Thank you all.